While working with many sponsors for the 1964 New York World's Fair, Walt Disney became accustomed to VIP lounges used to entertain the corporate elite. Disneyland featured Walt Disney's private apartment, but nothing that would really allow him to truly captivate the many current and future sponsors of Disneyland. With New Orleans Square just around the corner, it provided a perfect opportunity for Walt to build an exclusive venue within the gates of his theme park. On June 15, 1967, an exclusive club for Disney's corporate sponsors was opened within the gates of Disneyland named Club 33, a name inspired by the location of the club on 33 Royal Street, New Orleans Square. Whilst not originally intended to be the secret club of Disneyland, over time the purpose of the venue changed from entertaining their corporate elite to indulging private guests in the best of Disney's themed luxury. Very little information is ever officially released regarding the club, but if you're interested in joining, it's roughly a $25,000 fee for your initiation, and then $10,000 for every year after that. And on top of all of that, there is an over 10 year waiting list once you send off the handwritten letter of intention to the club. But if you want to join Club 33 right now, and have the money in hand, you can easily skip that waiting list. Just not at Disneyland, but at the Walt Disney World Resort. In 2017, it was confirmed by the Orlando Sentinel that Club 33 was coming to Walt Disney World. Keeping with the tradition of privacy and secrecy, Disney made no formal announcements for the club and barely mentions it anywhere except for a single page on their website. This page doesn't mention cost, benefits, or even locations, but thankfully, that information is out there. For review time, I'm Dominic, and this is Club 33 at the Walt Disney World Resort. Unfortunately, club membership can't simply be bought like an item on a shelf in the Emporium. You must first express your interest with an email to Disney's private Club 33 address. Upon this expression, Disney will then evaluate your position and financial standing before approving or denying your application. If approved, you will then be requested to pay the initiation fee of 33,000 US dollars, and every year afterwards will cost you $15,000. Once you've paid that fee, you're into the most exclusive club on Walt Disney World property. But what does club membership actually get you? Firstly, and possibly most importantly, it gains you exclusive access to the four Club 33 locations around Walt Disney World within their flagship theme parks. The Captain's Quarters is located at Magic Kingdom, behind the Skipper Canteen to the right as you enter Adventureland. Within Epcot is the Constellation Club, with its entrance located to the right of the American Adventure, and the club itself being above the American Pavilion an area which previously served as the Chase Visa Lounge during the Food and Wine Festival. The Spotlight Lounge is located within the Brown Derby at Disney's Hollywood Studios, with their own separate location within the building for the venue. And finally, Animal Kingdom's location is still currently under construction, but will be within Africa near Festival of the Lion King. The lounges exist to serve a few different purposes to cater to the members of Club 33 and their guests. They're a place to relax away from the crowds of Walt Disney World, and with only a limited amount of memberships being offered at any time, they almost guarantee that the club will keep its exclusive feeling. The other is a restaurant and bar. Club 33 at Disneyland is heavily documented with what they offer on the menu and what drinks they serve, but unfortunately that's not the same for the locations across the country. It can be assumed that this would be some of the best dining on Disney property but it's not free to members, and they still have to pay a healthy fee to indulge in such delights. Walt Disney World did a great job with keeping these venues secret. Their construction was shrouded with rumors and mystery, and for many, they just opened without any fanfare. When I visited earlier this year, I knew of the location near the Skipper Canteen, but the others were a complete mystery to me even as a large Disney fan. To add to this secrecy, recording or photography of any kind is strictly prohibited with the clubs making it incredibly difficult to find any pictures of the venues themselves. 
but thankfully several people have leaked images of what the interiors look like, and you can get a sense of the high class vibe that Disney is going for to try and justify the price tag and prestige. Beyond the clubs, members get premier season passports which give them unlimited access to all parks at Walt Disney World for themselves, their spouse, and to any children under the age of 26, with a limited number of instant FastPass Plus reservations available when they visit. Alongside this, they also get 51 day passes to give out to literally whoever they want, but realistically it's probably mostly used for friends and family visiting to enter the club with them. Members are also offered a 5 day long VIP guided tour, but not much is actually known about this tour and what it offers. Due to logistical reasons, it's probably an amalgamation of all of the best tours offered by Disney condensed into one, but Club 33 does boast being a tailored experience, so perhaps unique offerings are provided based on the members taste. Or perhaps it's as simple as the regular Disney VIP guided tours that give you VIP viewing areas as well as backdoor access to skip most of the park's attractions lines. Part of this tailored experience, which is possibly one of the most valuable additions, is the private concierge service exclusive to members of Club 33. Within exclusive clubs such as this, concierge can make the wildest of requests come true. Want to ride Space Mountain with the lights on? Sure, we can do that. Need a location for the fireworks at last minute notice? We can handle that. Want Mickey to greet you and your family at the club? Done. Concierge provides limitless potential for your Walt Disney World visit. With absolute mountains of things to do and see around the resort, this service has the potential to make dreams come true, though likely for a nominal fee. The last benefit is simple. You're a Club 33 member of Walt Disney World. You've joined possibly the second most prestigious theme park club in the world, and as somebody who lives in Australia and rarely gets to visit Disney parks, I envy you. Many people are going to ask, is Club 33 and Walt Disney World worth it? And realistically, it's not a question that can be answered in a singular way. The benefits are there for everybody to see, but I feel the real value comes from what you personally get out of it, and that's the same as any theme park vacation. These offerings exist to make memories that are immaterial, and you can take with you wherever you go. And that is Club 33 at the Walt Disney World Resort. If you had the money, is this something you would consider, or do you feel it's a bit of a waste? For review time, I'm Dominic. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing.